everyone, it's Natasha of natashaskitchen.com and we are gonna have so much fun today. I'm making make-ahead, freezer-friendly breakfast sandwiches. These are perfect for work, school, busy mornings, and camping. So let's get started. And stay tuned for some brilliant ways to freeze and reheat these. This recipe moves fast, so preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. In a large mixing bowl, combine eight large eggs, a quarter cup of milk, one tablespoon of sour cream, half a teaspoon of salt, and a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. Beat that together with a whisk until really well blended. Stir in a generous one half cup of shredded mozzarella, or you can use your favorite cheese. Stir just to combine. Now generously butter a 9 by 13 casserole. This way your eggs will release easily once they're baked. Pour the cheesy egg mixture into the buttered casserole, then bake in the center of your oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 18 to 20 minutes or until fluffy. And we're gonna make very good use of our time while that's baking. Cut six English muffins into halves and transfer them with the cut side up to a baking sheet. And cutting bread with a serrated knife makes it so much easier. I'll leave a link to the one I'm using in the description. Brush the cut sides of the muffins with some melted butter. We're gonna put those in the oven just as soon as the eggs are done. So let's check on those eggs. The eggs have puffed up nicely and to test for doneness, poke the top with your fingertip. It should not feel wet. Remove the eggs and set them aside to cool. Now set your oven to broil on high heat and toast the English muffins for two to four minutes or until the tops are golden and lightly crisp. And keep an eye on those muffins because they do toast quickly. The eggs have been out of the oven and cooling for about 10 to 15 minutes. Take a spatula and loosen around the edges. You can cut the eggs into six even squares or use a round pastry cutter to cut circles. Cutting out the circles looks prettier and fancier for the English muffins, so that's what we'll do. Use a spatula to remove the egg portions and now it's time to assemble. Putting these together is so simple. Place the bottom bun down first, then cover with the egg, followed by a slice of cheese and a couple slices of good quality ham. You can also use sliced turkey or chicken or whatever is your favorite deli meat. Cover that with the top toasted bun and breakfast is made. I love that this recipe makes a lot of breakfast sandwiches at once. Seriously, that's all there is to it, easy peasy. And to store these, because these keep really well in the freezer, you wanna wrap them individually in plastic wrap. Nice and tight, because they will stay fresher longer that way. Okay, and then just pop them into a freezer safe bag, like so, and they'll keep for one to two months in a freezer. Then when you're ready to serve them, you can either thaw in the fridge overnight if, you're, if you know you're gonna eat them the next day, or you can just reheat them from frozen. It is so easy. So unwrap it from the plastic wrap, place it on a plate lined with a paper towel, and the paper towel will absorb the moisture so the bun doesn't get soggy, and then just pop it in the microwave. Also, if you're going camping, and this is awesome, you can wrap it in a sheet of foil, and then heat it over a fire. Like, oh, <laughs> melty gooey cheese and delicious breakfast sandwich on a camping trip. Just sounds amazing to me. And make ahead too, so less work. And I'm gonna heat this up and we're gonna do a quick taste test. All right, the cheese is melted and this is ready for me to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> and whenever I serve these, ooh, that's cheesy. Whenever I serve these, I love to add something fresh, like avocado, sliced avocados, or even guacamole, mm. or sliced fresh tomato and fresh spinach. So yummy. All right, so we're gonna do this taste test. I'm gonna cut right into this. I wanna show you what's inside. 
Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, let's get over there. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I just felt my knees go weak. <laughs> it's a weakness for melted cheese. Oh, okay, here we go. I'm gonna take a big old bite here. This is so good. It's only about a hundred times better than fast food breakfast sandwiches. And you'll feel good about eating this because it's homemade. <laughs> oh, and the eggs are so fluffy and moist. It's like the best scrambled eggs you can have. And there's cheese in the eggs too. This is a winning combination. <laughs> and you can do so much with this recipe. I love make ahead. Easy recipes like this, and my kids love these too. Oh, they always disappear fast. Sometimes they don't even make it into the freezer. <laughs> True story. Hey, before you go, I have a bonus for you guys. If you love make ahead recipes, check out some of our all time favorites right over there and right down there. And before you go, make sure you click below to subscribe. And when you do, click that little bell icon so you'll get notifications every time we post a new recipe. We'll see you next time.